first program I'd like to introduce you to is called Patchwork of the Prairie. I have a collection of five generations of quilts that were made by members of my family on the prairies of South Dakota and Nebraska. The oldest quilt was made in 1875 and it goes through the years to the present day. It shows so many uh, changes in the lifestyle and the economy in the state and especially for rural residents on the prairies of South Dakota. I have a PowerPoint projection that I background my quilts with showing the pictures of the women that made them, the homes they lived in, which some were sawed, and about the lifestyle that they were living in. I also inject a little bit of poetry about the women, the quilts, and the quilters. The second program I'd like to talk about is called the Fabulous Feed Sack Era. And that is a span from about 1920 to about 1960. And it introduces everybody to the, the history of, of the feed sacks. And I have some to show that are actual, actual feed sacks. This was fabric of choice. This is so important to the lives of the people, especially during the Great Depression. And I have items of clothing and items made for the homes out of feed sacks. I also have a little uh, sort of a skit or uh, apron style show that we show out of feed sack aprons, and that's a lot of fun. And then I, again, I inject a little bit of my poetry about feed sacks and feed sack aprons, etc. And that brings up the third program when I talk about poetry. If you will Google my name, Yvonne Hollenbeck, you will see my prominence in the world of cowboy poetry. I'm not a cowboy, but I married one and I live on a ranch in South Dakota. And most of my poetry is written about that lifestyle of living on a ranch on the prairies of South Dakota. And uh, you can also go to the westernfolklifecenter.com and see actual footage of some of my presentations. I have been invited to present this program all over the United States and Canada, and I would really like to be able to present one of my programs to your event, and I'd like to thank the South Dakota Humanities for sponsoring me. Thank you.